can we make minoxidil work better? You see, that's a question I get asked all the time. And today we're going to talk about one particular combination that's you know, been around for a while, and that's topical minoxidil with retinoic acid. So does it actually help? How does it work? Is it something that you should consider? Let's dive in. Welcome back to the show. Well, how does minoxidil work? Well, let's take a quick refresher. We've talked about this in the past. Minoxidil works as a vasodilator, and when it's applied topically, it helps stimulate hair follicles to move into that sort of growth phase, or what we call anagen phase. And it's been around for decades and is one of really only two uh, FDA-approved treatments for hair loss. But here's the thing. Minoxidil is not absorbed very efficiently through the skin only a small percentage actually gets into the scalp and to the hair follicle where it needs to work. So why add retinoic acid? See, this is where retinoic acid comes in. So you might know it from uh, skin care. It's a vitamin A uh, derivative and it's commonly used in acne treatments or anti-aging creams as well. But what retinoic acid does is it actually increases the skin uh, cell turnover. And it makes that outer layer of the skin, which is called the stratum, stratum corneum, it makes that a lot more permeable. What that means is that it helps other molecules, like the minoxidil, penetrate better into the scalp. So the theory is, is that if you apply retinoic acid along with the minoxidil, you're going to actually increase the amount of the drug that actually gets into the hair follicle and potentially get a stronger effect. So what, is, what does the evidence say? Well, there have been uh, a few studies uh, looking at this combination, and uh, some small trials have shown that when minoxidil is combined with the retinoic acid, you can get better growth results uh, compared to the group which just had minoxidil on its own. Uh, one paper also reported that the absorption of uh, minoxidil was increased as much as threefold when used with the combination of retinoic acid. And, and clinically, some patients do see faster, more sort of uh, more uh, noticeable uh, results. But and this is important: retinoic acid can also cause irritation. It can cause redness, flaking, and itching. And if you've ever used retinoic acid on your face, you'll know what I mean. Uh, on the scalp, uh, that irritation can also make it for harder to, uh, for people to stick with the treatment long term. And remember, topical minoxidil, which is also, if the liquid form, which also contains propylene glycol, can also cause even more irritation as well. So should you use this combination? Well, this is something I, I do recommend to, to patients. It's not necessarily for everyone, but for some people who haven't responded well to the standard uh, topical minoxidil, be it in the liquid or the foam, it might be worth trying under medical supervision. But with, if you've got sort of sensitive skin or existing irritation on the scalp, it can potentially uh, make things worse. So the key here is that it's not a magic bullet, right? There's a potential booster. It do, the retinoic acid doesn't itself do anything uh, for the hair, but it also, but it just helps the penetration. But it does come with some risks and, and side effects. So my take on this is that the combination of topical minoxidil and retinoic acid is quite promising. Uh, it does make uh, biological sense and there's evidence to support uh, that. But like in every treatment, it's about what works for you and balancing that effectiveness with uh, its tolerability as well. Hmm. So if you're curious about whether or not this is right for you, make sure that you speak uh, with your prescribing doctor who specializes in hair loss and hair loss medications and see if this treatment uh, is right for you. But just remember with any treatment, okay, and this is true for this, consistency is key. It only works if you use it. All right, so I hope you found that useful. Thank you again for watching. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any comments, uh, I look forward to seeing it in the, in the comment section below. Thanks very much, take care.